Hey golfers, Kevin Haim here. I wanted to uh, give you a little introduction on our new Gears 3D Motion Capture software. We're the first uh, Gears 3D Motion Capture studio in Canada, and we've really been fascinated and thrilled and really educated by all the things that this, uh, this can do. Uh, this is a swing of myself. We created an avatar. I wore the 3D markers like Tiger and EA Sports. This is back in February, and we created this this rendering, this avatar of my golf swing, if you will. And if you look at it, the, the, the neatest thing about it is once you create the avatar, you can look at it from any angle, including below. You can look at your golf swing from every angle. I, I've said to a few of my students, it's like capturing, capturing a butterfly in a, in a jar. You know, once you have it, you can really study it. I think this is the future of uh, golf teaching. So I wanted to show you a few things here. I could draw some lines on my body. And these are spine tilt lines, shoulder rotation lines, angles in relation to the ground. We can look at that avatar from the top and we see the shoulders have turned 90.7 degrees, hips 53.3, my spine tilt is 90.9, .9 away from the target. And again, we can look at it from all different angles. If we look at a down the line view, we see the spinal tilt here, my, my posture into the golf ball the levels of my knees, my hips, my shoulders. It's just a fascinating tool to get unbelievable real-time data from every perspective on a golf swing. And it shows the body in ways we've never really seen before. And uh, you know, I've been teaching for 25 years using video, and I'm seeing things with, with gears I've never seen before. Uh, there's really so much data, I don't even want to talk to all of it because it'll be a two-hour uh, little sampling here, but here's swing planes for example. You can take anyone's golf swing and show them the path of the club up and down and through. You can show them that. Uh, all kinds of club data, everything from your club path, your attack angle, the closure rate of the club, how quickly the grip is rotating, uh, the lie angle at impact, uh, where exactly we hit it on the, on the club face. Th this little dot up here actually indicates you know, that I hit it slightly in the heel, and it's guaranteed to 0.2 millimeters, the thickness of a piece of paper, in accuracy. So we're learning all sorts of things. Uh, you've also got all kinds of body data on here, all the flexions and extensions in the wrists, all the flexes of the joint angles from ankles to knees to hips and everything else. It also indicates, if you look up in this area here, kinematic sequence, which is the unwinding of the golf swing, my pelvis, uh, you know, moving a little bit more slowly than my torso, than my arms, and then into my club head. So you can see if a golfer is winding or unwinding properly. We can also look at that from any angle again and catch different things. I wanted to just show you two things about my golf swing that I, I think are pretty fascinating. And, and one of them we're going to see from the target line here. We're going to take off those plane lines. and. I have a tendency to just fire my legs a little too much, which makes my hands and arms have to resist. Uh, by the way, do you notice how the club shaft is bowing a little bit there? Uh, that is called sh uh, sha uh, toe droop in the golf club, and you can really see the flexion. That's actually happening in the golf shaft. But then I wanted to bring you up to this midpoint through, and you can see how I'm trying to catch up and square that club face after I fired my legs a little too quickly. That again is deflection of the club shaft. And you can see how the toe's a little bit hooked there as I try to square the club through impact. So we can look at this from every angle and really get a look at what the golfer is actually doing, right? Uh, the last little thing I'll show you again is a little weakness in my game that those legs driving slightly forward. We'll take that shaft extension line out. And why don't we put a head bubble on me along with all my different uh, elements of my shoulders, my hips, and you'll see that I'm, I'm tilted back three degrees from straight up and down at the start. The top of my swing, I'm at you know, one degree, so I'm staying very centered. My spine is very neutral here. My head stays in the bubble, but watch as I work through how my spine increases its tilt, and I actually, my head falls back a little bit with those dynamic legs and I end up around 109 or 108 at impact. You know, I've seen tour pros in these same positions around the 100, 100 degree angle, right? A little more on top of the golf ball. And this is exactly why on this swing, I then turn the hands over 
and shut that club face a little bit. That's my subconscious trying to get that golf face squared. Probably a little bit of a draw on this shot, maybe even a little bit of an overdraw. But that's the kind of fascinating things we can now see with gears. It's a wonderful system. You can come and see it here at the Kevin Hayne Golf Center uh, at 560 Hazeldean Road in Ottawa. It's the only gear studio in the country. And I think it's going to change the way we teach the game. It's, it's literally a revolution in golf teaching. Today I wanted to talk about leg work in the downswing. Specifically, how the legs kind of guide and lead the downswing, right? In our last video, we referenced the fact that the body winds up from the top and then unwinds from the body. And I didn't want to answer what leads the downswing.